if you get this error message from the Xfinity stream app, and in most cases, this error occurs on some Samsung TV models. So and the error look like this, which say this video cannot be played. We are running into a problem while streaming with an error, which is TV app 00148. Now to resolve this issue, make sure to listen to this tutorial very carefully and watch this video till the end to understand how to resolve this issue. Now, why do you get this error, which is TV app 00148? The reason you get this error, the Xfinity Stream app error, TV app 00148 on your Samsung TV is likely due to compatibility issue with certain Samsung TV models. So this is likely due to compatibility issues as it occurs on some Samsung TV models. Now, why do I say it's a compatibility issue? If you go here to the support forum for Xfinity, someone was facing the exact same issue, which is TV app 00148, and the support provided this information, which is very useful. So listen to this very carefully. They say, we are aware that some customers are receiving an error message when using the Xfinity Stream app on some 2021 Samsung Smart TV models. Please note that this is not an Xfinity issue. It's a firmware-related issue within the TV. We apologize for any inconvenience and appreciate your understanding. As Samsung works to deploy a fix in the coming days, automatically that should resolve the issue fully. In the meantime, here are two ways you can update the firmware manual and ensure that automatic updates are turned on. So they say here, to, resol to resolve this issue, you just have to update your firmware on the Samsung TV. Now they provide an option here to update the firmware, just follow the instructions here. Now option one, using your Samsung TV remote, navigate to the menu, select settings, select support, select software updates, select update now. This should download and install any new updates. If there aren't any new updates, select OK to exit. Notes, if there are software updates option is, if the software updates option is grayed out, it because a streaming app is running in the background. You need to change the source to the TV or press Samsung TV Plus on the remote. Updates usually take a few minutes and the TV will automatically restart once the update is complete. Do not turn off the TV until after it restarts. Now, option two here to update your Samsung TV firmware. For the instruction on the Samsung TV website, you'll need the model number of their TV and a USB flash drive. So to update using the option two, you'll need the model number of the TV and a USB flash drive. Just go to this website here, which is the link will also be provided in the description, as well as the link of this page here so that you can follow the instruction. So just go to this link here. In the search, search for your product, enter the TV model number. So if you go to this website here, also go to this web website here on the search bar, enter your TV model's number. Under firmware, you should see, click on how to update USB firmware. This will open a new web page with this header, update the software on your Samsung Smart TV or monitor. Then choose and follow the update using USB. Also, you must enable future updates to ensure that future updates automatic. Using the Samsung TV remote, navigate to TV menu, Select settings, select support, select the software update, and select auto update to start to turn it on. Selecting it again will turn off automatic updates. Note if software updates option is grayed out, it's because the streaming app is running in the background. You need to change the source to TV or press Samsung TV Plus on the remote. So the only way to fix this issue is to just enable automatic updates. Also make sure the firmware of our Samsung TV is updated to the latest version. Since this is not an Xfinity issue, but an issue within the TV and it occurs in some 2021 Samsung Smart TV models. So make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. Also, in the meantime, you can follow these instructions here. Try to turn on the TV, then press and hold the power button on the remote until the Samsung logo appears on the screen. Then release the power button. The TV will turn off and then back on. The x Stream app should now work perfectly. So try to turn on the TV. Then press and hold the power button on the remote until the Samsung logo appears on the screen. Release the power button. The TV will turn off and then back on. The x Stream app should now work perfectly. If nothing else works, you can cast the x Stream content from your phone to your Samsung TV using Bluetooth. This essentially turns your phone or tablet into a remote, allowing you to access all stream content seamlessly. It works flawlessly. So this is the best guide on how to fix this error, which is TV app 0148. I'll also provide this link of this forum here so that you can follow the support options very carefully. Also, another option is you can try to stream using Apple AirPlay, Google Comcast, Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV streaming device to watch on your TV. So you can just use these devices. Maybe if you turn on Samsung TV models have issues, you can just try using to stream content using this option which have been provided here. Also, you can watch on your computer 
tablet or mobile phone. You can play Xfinity Stream app content on mobile device and then on your home Wi-Fi network. Use Bluetooth to, cut, to cast the programming on your TV. You will then use your mobile device as a remote. So this is a bit kind of how to fix this issue here. Thank you so much for watching this video and let me know in the comment section if this tutorial has helped you. See you next time.